Hello, uh, my name is Tom Hubble. I'm Freshers and Recruitment Sec for UBRFC. I've got uh, three top tips for uh, upcoming members of UBRFC. Uh, one, keep up to date with all uh, Facebook pages, updates and timings for events. Uh, usually there are, there's one main UBRFC members uh, page which everyone is added to and that will be posted with lots of different notifications of events. Uh, another one would be um, uh, make a group chat with um, all, the, all the people in the first year and uh, keep up to date with each other so you all guys are on the same page and just cr try and create a group chat as large as possible. Uh, and number three, um, to get to trainings in the early mornings and afternoons, try and find yourself someone to either drive you down there from pools or um, get yourself informed with some bus timetable which we can get you down there on time. Brilliant. Hello, I'm Freddie Adam. I'm the co-vice captain and health and wellbeing officer for UBRFC. And I've got my top three tips for any incoming first years to the club for living as a UBRFC member. Uh, number one is have the right kit, uh, especially for post matches and for socials. Uh, you hate to see it when there's someone not in shirt, tie, chinos, so uh, make sure you've got the right stuff. Number two is go to the training sessions, early doors, make sure you, you know, you're know you a part of the club, uh, you meet some mates early on and uh, get involved with the, with the playing, uh, which helps out for number three, look forward to Wednesdays. You know, we spend three days a week training in preparation for, for Wednesdays where we've got a match and then a few beers afterwards and you'll find that your whole week's revolve around Wednesdays and it's, it's always the highlight of your week. So uh, look forward to that. Hi lads, I'm uh, Matt Francis and for the next year I will be the social media and marketing secretary of the Bristol committee. Uh, so what I'm going to do is some top tips as living as a UERC member in the uni. So first thing I would say is definitely be punctual, always be punctual for even just general rugby and even in the socials, never be late to a social and really don't be late for training because you just got to show that you're always there, you're committed and you're just really in there for the team. Whereas if you're turning up five, ten minutes late when everybody else has already warmed up, everybody just thinks, oh, well, he's not really caring, is he? So then the second tip I would say is probably just get stuck in in training. There's, uh, there's a lot of members in our team, so you've got to get noticed. So you've really, anything you do, you're always, you've got to put in max effort and you've got to train as if you're playing. So, and then the third one, don't miss a Wednesday. Never miss any opportunity. If you're thinking, oh, well, not my name of my mate to go in, I would still just, just go. Because, well, we're, we're not mean, none of us are. Just get to know us, even if you don't know us, just, feel free to come up to any of us and talk and I'm sure you'll have a great night. Cheers. Hi right, boys, uh, sitting here on my lunch break, uh, doing some work, doing some sailing and here are my uh, top tips for living as a UBRC member. Um, what you need, first of all, the essential kit is the trackies. If you're up early in the morning for a bit of S&C or a bit of ones and twos training, you've got to get the trackies in. That's uh, going to keep you nice and toasty and warm during the December months. Um, second sort of top tip set multiple alarms like set at least four or five and have someone come wake you up like i'm absolutely one of the laziest blokes alive um so you've got to get a few alarms in you don't want to be late to training and argue the coaches and get get subbed down because that's not worth it because the higher team you play the higher quality of rugby you play